G'day guys, welcome back to Aussie Fiberglass Boat Builders. The last episode we spoke about doing the gel coat repairs on Craig's keel uh, on his Baron Sportsman. What I've got here are uh, some materials that we're going to use to patch up those gel coat chips on the bottom of his keel. What I've done is I've put into this container here some white brush flow coat. That's already been treated with the wax and styrene, so I don't have to add any more to that. To turn that into a blue, I've got some blue pigment, which I got off the uh, fiberglass supplier. And I've also got some talcum powder here, which I'm going to add to that colour once I mix it to thicken it up into more of a, more of a paste, a bit like peanut butter consistency, so that we can then apply it to the bottom of the, uh, the, the keel without it then dripping down and falling down off the job. So I'm just going to add some blue here, you don't need much blue. This is just straight out blue pigment colour and this here is the, the gel coat. And as you can see as I stir that blue in there, it starts to change that white gel coat into blue pretty much instantaneously. The more I mix, the blue I get. I could probably do with a little bit more blue in that to just darken it a little bit more. It's going to be a bit difficult because the gel coat is already white. Normally you could get yourself some neutral gel coat and add the blue and it would be that, that uh, royal blue colour in there. But as I'm using uh, white, we just add a bit more blue. If I had some black, I'd add a little bit of black. But we're not going to worry a bit too much about that. This Craig's not too fussy about the actual colour of the blue, just as long as his fiberglass is protected by this new gel coat that we're going to put on there. Now, as I said before, it was brush flow coat. If you're not aware of it, flow coat is actually gel coat with an additive added to it. And that additive is wax in styrene mononymous solution. You can buy that as a separate chemical. So if you wanted to buy gel coat, you could then add up to 5% of wax and styrene to that solution to turn it into flow coat. The reason you use that is to because the wax, when it goes off, once you've added your hardener and the chemical reaction goes on, the wax settles on the top of the flow coat and seals the gel coat and makes it go off so that it's nice and hard. If you didn't add the wax and styrene to your gel coat and you went and applied it, what you would get is a tacky surface and you would have to then wash that with a bit of acetone and wipe it down because as you start to sand it, it would gum up your sandpaper. So we've got wax and styrene already in this making a flow coat and as you can see I've made a blue probably a little bit lighter than, he, than needed underneath there, but I'm pretty sure that that's going to be okay for what we need to do. Alright, so I'm not going to add any more blue to that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some talc powder. This is commercial grey talc powder, it doesn't have any smelly perfume in it, it's just plain old talc powder that you can buy. Or if you can't get hold of that, you can just go into uh, your bathroom, down the supermarket and just get straight out old baby talcum powder and you can put that into the your, uh, into your mix too. This is just like a filler agent. It's a, uh, it's a cheap way of being able to thicken up your flow coat so that it turns into a paste and then from there you can then use it to apply it to your gel coat cracks and uh, chips and so on. So I'll just mix that into there like that and show you it's just how you do it. It's just basically like mixing casting sugar into your uh, cake mix. If that's how you do it at home, I'm not sure I don't do too much cooking myself, but that's uh, basically all we're doing. And once I've got that into the uh, sort of the texture of peanut butter, so it doesn't run, then I'm ready to basically apply my uh, MEKP catalyst. In a, uh, in a couple of drops to make that then 
start to go hard. And uh, bearing in mind, I'm probably only going to have about 15 to 20 minutes worth of working time once I've catalyzed it to get it on underneath there. So I don't really want to just stick it straight in this. So what I'll do is I'll take some of this out of here and I'll put it on a piece of cardboard or something like that. And I'll then get my um, bog blade and I'll, uh, I'll put on as much as I can in the time that allows me. And then I'll uh, come back and add some more if I need to.